Hi, I'm Scott Fenton with Fenton Mobility, and I'm here today to show you the operation of a ship and step. This is a 2020 Ford Transit, all wheel drive extended van with a power door operator. So the very first thing we're gonna do is pull the handle and the power door is gonna open, full open. Notice in this picture, the lift is blocking the door. So we're gonna to wanna to push and hold the shift left button. And this exposes the stairs. You're gonna hold the button until the shift and stop, stop shifting on its own. And you can simply walk right in. Now, for operation of the wheelchair lift, we'll need to set the parking brake and have the key on. In most cases, it's better to have the engine running, but because we're inside today, we're gonna leave it off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push and hold the shift right button until the shift and step stops on its own. The lights on the lift should illuminate at that point. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the control box and this is gonna operate like any normal bra and lift. So I'm gonna hit the unfold button, push and hold it until it stops. It's gonna stop at floor level. Release, down to ground level. I'll wait for the roll stop to open up. So this, this operates like any traditional bra and lift does. I'm gonna use the up button. This is gonna bring us back to floor level. There's a consumer on at floor level. One nice feature we've added to this shift and step upfit package is the operator entrance package. So we've removed the front passenger seat and this allows the driver to simply walk in, unload the, vehicle, unload the consumer at floor level, tie him down and return back out. So at this point, we're going to simply use our fold button. We're going to hold the fold button until the brawn lift stops. I'm going to hang the control box on the right side. Go back to the shift and step. Push and hold until it stops. This is the preferred position. And in case of an emergency, you have an open staircase but this is a per preferred position. Let's go over some of the safety features of the shift and step. There's an optional left-hand stainless grab bar, an optional right-hand grab bar. Each step has yellow slip-resistant safety tape. This is the optional bus step that has a cover to keep out uh, weather. And the electronic features that are safety features is the photo eyes. It'll stop the operation and you have to release and press the button again. And that'll work in either direction, left or right. There's also overcurrent. So if something was in the way that the photo eyes didn't pick up, overcurrent will stop the shift and step. Okay, shift and step manual operation. The manual operating lever is located in this package in the inside. Take that off. The manual operation has four steps. Step one, two, three, four. They're labeled and they have pictures. So step one, we're going to loosen up these. Step two, we're going to pull the motor back. Step three, we're going to insert the manual lever. And step four, we can move the shift and step with the lever. And that's how easy manual operation is. Each shift and step also comes with a key override. The key can come in here, be inserted. 
rotate to the right to shift right. It's important to note that the key override overrides all the safety features that we previously showed. This is a great diagnostic tool. It's good for an operator to override the safeties, but remember the safeties are not working. I hope this demonstration of the shift and step has been helpful. For further information, go to our website, fentonmobility.com. Until next time, I'm Scott Fenton.